I am Desinta, and I would like to explain about laptop cooling system. This is the outline of what I'm gonna explain in this video. But first, let us go to introduction. Computers and laptop consist of various components with different purposes. Some of the components can generate heat, such as CPU, GPU, HDD, and ODD. Then, if the component of the laptop can generate heat, why is laptop temperature not as hot as stove or iron? The answer is simple, because laptop has the cooling system to cool down the hot component. Then, are you wondering about how is the cooling system in laptop work? If yes, just follow this video until the end. Generally, there is two types of cooling system, the active and passive. Active cooling process use fans or blowers to generate additional airflow around the body of the laptop. The air flowed by the fans can help the heat transfer from the hot component to surrounding by convection. Then passive cooling. This process uses conductive cooling pads. The pads usually filled with an organic salt compound which are able to absorb the heat from the hot component in the laptop. Passive cooling process can minimize the energy and cost used to cooling down the laptop. However, it takes a longer time compared to the active cooling process. In this video, I will only focus on the active cooling process. Let us take this figure as an example. So here, we have fan, CPU, and also heat pipe. For your information, CPU is one of the laptop components which generate heat the most. So I will just use CPU as the heat source. In these two figures, the left figure is when the heat pipe is installed and the red figure is when the heat pipe is removed in order to make us can see the CPU because the heat pipe is located on the top on the CPU. The fan here is used to push the cool air from surrounding to enter the laptop. And the heat pipe here is used to transfer the heat generated by the CPU to the surrounding. So the fluid flow will be like this. From this figure, we can see that there is a heat exchange between the hot fluid from the CPU and the cool air from the surrounding. And here is the location where the heat is exchanged. Then let us take the heat exchanger only. As you can see here, there is two separated flow. The first one is the fluid flow inside the heat pipe. So from the CPU, the fluid will get warm, and when it goes to this heat exchanger, the fluid will be cooled down. And the second flow is the air from surrounding, so the cool air from surrounding will go into the heat, this heat exchanger, and when it goes out, it will become warm air, because there is a heat exchange in here. The heat exchanger used in previous example can be called as heat sink. Heat sink consists of pills of metal which attach to its middle body. In this example, the middle body is the heat pipe. And in heat transfer course, we know that the amount of heat transferred by convection will be increased as the area is increased. So by having the control volume in shape of heat sink, there will be more heat transferred. To analyze the heat exchanger, there are some assumptions that can be made such as 1. The heat exchanger is well insulated 2. Potential and kinetic energy change are negligible 3. The fluid specific heat is constant 4. The overall heat transfer are constants and 5. We only consider the heat generated by the CPU By this assumption, there are some limitations on the heat exchanger analysis such as one, the heat transfer from surrounding is not considered yet. And two, we also not considering the energy when there is elevation difference and when the heat exchanger is moving. Three, we cannot perform the analysis for unconstant specific heat and unconstant heat transfer. And four, since we consider only the heat generated by CPU, we don't know the overall heat transfer on the laptop. In analyzing the heat transfer, there are some parameters that can be used. For example, the thermal conductivity assisted in this table. So, thank you for watching my video until this point. 
In conclusion, Klein's system on the laptop is similar to the concept of heat exchanger with two separated flow. The heat transfer analysis from laptop cooling system can be started by drawing the schematic and then listing the assumptions. However, because of there is some assumptions, there are some limitations on the analysis. So, thank you for watching me until this point.